Hello guys, this is Pavlos from Laravel Daily Team and this YouTube video will be about Laravel validation. There is a really well known, probably the most popular validation rule called required. And I will show you a few more rules which are really similar but work in a different way. So here I have a small demo project based on our uh, quick admin panel generator and the code is general really simple, so country store. So form with two fields, name and short code, both are required. Form in Blade is really simple, so a little bootstrap here and there, but nothing too fancy. And, and on validation, I just throw errors here. Uh, and uh, request, it shows actually controller, so countries controller. So this is a store method, and that is store country request. This is the validation rules list here. So name is required and short code is required and by default if you load this form and don't fill anything it should throw errors here. Name is required, short code is required. Now, uh, trick number one. Uh, this, uh, there are two more rules I want to show you here. So first is present. Present means that this field should be present at all, this input. So if it isn't present uh, then it will throw error. In our case, if we load the form again, name is present, but it's not filled in, and there's no error about short code, uh, no uh, error about name, only for short code, so short code is required for the country, and name is not throwing any errors because it is present. It will fail only if we remove that field from the input. Uh, that is really useful in uh, dynamic forms, so with JavaScript, uh, Vue.js, Ajax, anything uh, similar. So some fields won't be present at all in some cases, so on, uh, on some case. And this will fail, so that field isn't present. Uh, it's not present and it isn't, of course, it, isn't, uh, it doesn't have value. And third really similar one uh, is filled. Filled, this one. Filled means when present, then it should be filled. If it's not present, then it doesn't throw errors. So in our case, if we don't have that field, submit, we don't have any error because we don't have that field. But if we get it back, common Z, uh, if we get it back and we do have that field, then it becomes required. So, but the error message is different. The name field must have a value. It's not required. So it must have a value when it is present, when it's getting through the input to the post. So these are three simple and really similar rules, but for dynamic forms, it might be better to use field or present instead of just required.